What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Why Body Nation. Dodge has released number two of the seven special editions they're going to be releasing for 2023. And this one, number two, is way better than number one. Changed my mind. We got the Charger Super B coming out. And really, Super B is kind of code for 1320 Charger. And a lot of you guys know what the 1320 was back a few years ago with the, the Challenger 1320. So make sure you guys are subscribed. This is only number two of seven. And I just put that video out a couple days ago about how to order 2023s and when to do that. So if you haven't watched that video, you are missing out and you're probably going to miss the boat on ordering a 2023 if you don't want one of these special editions. So appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, We'll just jump right into it. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of the YouTubers that have put videos out on this already have kind of missed a lot of the key items with as far as like production numbers, colors, and actual specs, and then also the fact that it is a 1320 underneath uh, as far as actual the actual hardware goes. Because a lot of them, you know, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Dodge says it's gonna be like more performance than a normal scat pack. And, and then they're like, I don't really know how they're gonna do that because like, the normal scat pack has 485 horsepower and that you can't really do much else to it. It's like, well, obviously maybe they're not adding power. Maybe they are subtracting weight or they're increasing grip or they're, they're um, subtracting weight out of the tires, the rims, uh, the brakes, etc. So that leads me right into this thing. Um, as far as the name, it, um, well, obviously the last one was called a shakedown, which I think was dumb. This one being the super B much more historic and super B, goes well much more historic and it's basically code name for 1320 uh on this thing they're just not going to call it the 1320 because they already made a 1320 if you guys know what i'm saying here now you get your little nicks and knacks but here's let's talk about the meat and potatoes of this thing the way they're making it faster is the same way they made the 1320 faster the same way they made the demon faster and the same way that you would make any drag car faster and that is by putting better tires smaller wheels with more sidewall for the tires more room for the sidewall smaller brakes and then also it looks like they may have like some sort of launch mode or something like that too now one of the really nitpicky things that i'm going to get into is obviously they're making 500 narrow body and 500 wide body uh the narrow bodies are coming in b5 blue which is a good color but i would take the wide body because it's coming in plump crazy purple which with the decals kind of pops. I think it looks good. I think it looks good. Now with when on the uh, on the 1320s and destroyer 1320, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they came with Nexen drag radials, which I have this article pulled up right here from back when they released the destroyer th or the the uh, Challenger 1320 and they came with some weird Nexen tires and I no one runs Nexons when they're drag racing, let's be honest. You either are running Mickey Thompsons, you're running Hoosiers, maybe you're running Nittos. And so Nittos is what Dodge, I, I presume, will be putting on at least the um, the 18 by 11 wheel that goes on the wide body. Now the narrow body, um, Nitto does make a tire for the narrow body, which would probably be this two, 285, 40, 18 of the NT05R, which is still the same tire, it's the NT05R, kind of your, I'd say it's a hybrid between like a Mickey Thompson Street SS and a Mickey Thompson Street R. Uh, in real life, these definitely don't hook up as good as a Street R, but they also have better tread, or they also have better tread life in my experience, because I have run both tires. Uh, so not a bad tire, not a bad tire. Back to the actual article, like we said, 500, 500, narrow body, wide body, thousand total comes with car, uh, carbon suede interior plus group and these brakes they're doing four pistons up front four pistons out back and you might say why, why are they only doing four pistons up front well that's because they want you to be able to fit an 18 inch wheel easily up front without really 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 having to mess with the wheel size the offset or anything like that so 18 inch uh, wheels up front will fit easily over the four pistons because the four pistons are also what is out back to my knowledge now in order to run a smaller tire a 17 you may need to make slight modifications to the rear end i never got that far with my uh red eye because it was stolen and uh we'll we'll wrap this video up but before we wrap it up that just segues very well into you know our sponsor destroyer 1320 this is his 1320 uh challenger that he had and this is my uh what is now stolen um 2021 charger hellcat red eye wide body 
And, uh, you know, what better, what better way to uh, remember the car than to put it as the product picture for the neutral strap that goes ahead, the neutral strap cover that goes ahead and protects your neutral strap in these very, very old design cars that these are stealing so easily. Now, and you guys can actually see, you know, he's, he's doing the demo right here, but make sure you guys use that code WBN to go get your uh, neutral strap cover down here. Make sure you select the right car as well. We've had a couple people select the wrong car for some reason. And then we have the OBD2 cover as well. And you heard it here, folks. Uh, he is coming out with Ram TRX uh, neutral strap covers, which will also work on, on a very wide range of Ram 1500 years, including like the Rebel and trucks like that. And we have some other stuff in store for you guys. Back to wrapping this thing up. Do I think it's going to make any extra power? Probably not, but remember you have direct connection through Dodge, so maybe you can uh, do some do some mods through them. Maybe an intake, a ported throttle body. Uh, maybe I don't. Even, I haven't seen direct connection yet. I don't think they've really put that much out for the scat packs yet, to my knowledge. Maybe they'll even start doing headers or you know exhaust. We'll we'll see what they do. Um, but you know you might need to tune through direct connection as well. All righty. Let's see, okay. You know, so I guess we could wrap this up by, would you buy this or should you buy this, you know? Um, the last one, the the shakedown, You, I would not touch that thing with a 10 foot pole. I wouldn't even buy the shakedown for MSRP. I think that thing is gonna be overpriced by, out of the box. I think people are gonna pay 10, 20, 40 grand over for the shakedown uh, and they're literally just paying for stickers. This one, you're paying for hardware. You're paying for different brakes. Granted, smaller up front. You're paying for forged smaller wheels. You're paying for better tires that you don't have to go out and buy. You're paying for drag mode, which is like better launch control. I, I believe they even come with a trans brake. You're paying for what appears to be a Hellcat style, the old Hellcat style hood right here, which should be a little bit better hood venting as far as heat goes. And also your aerodynamics should be slightly increased. Am I missing anything that we're that we're glossing over as far as real performance. You know, take the seat, take the back seats out of these, take your passenger seat out, cut some weight out of this thing. And this thing could be running a, a few tenths faster than a normal scat pack for sure. I mean, the, these tires and wheels alone, um, getting that wrinkle, getting that grip and minimizing weight makes a huge difference. So overall, um, I am a lot less disappointed in Dodge with this offering. I thought, after that first one, when it was just stickers, I was like, "Oh man, this is gonna be, this is gonna be bad." That that shakedown was a that was a rough video to make because I felt like I I felt like I should have even been harder on Dodge, but I felt like I was just bashing them. Um, but this this is looking solid. So make sure you guys protect those vehicles out there. I just received another vehicle protection device from a sponsor today that I will be doing a video on over this weekend. Uh, probably even multiple videos. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Hey, we, we're going to keep on going with this car protection thing. I got plenty of videos coming out on that, no matter what you drive, you know, Subaru, Dodge, Chevy, you know, Ford diesel. It, it doesn't matter. My, I mean, my wife's got a RAV4. So we're going to be protecting anything and everything that needs to be protected. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Stay safe out there and I will see you guys for the next video.